to sign into and use iNaturalist, open up iNaturalist, open up the menu at the top left. At the top it says log in, sign up. If you don't have a sign up, click at the bottom and click on sign up. Give it an email address, a password, and enter a username. Use uh, your actual name for your username. Maybe put together your first and last name. Uh, but your data will be flowing into a global information database for biodiversity. Uh, and you are a citizen scientist. You're publishing scientific observations. So use a name that is uh, essentially your actual name. It'll also help me in identifying whose observations is whose. But go ahead and use a, a name based on your real name for your username. I'll go ahead and get signed in here. So I'm signed in now and I'm going to make a new observation. So if I'm here I just click on the hamburger menu and click on new observation at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and take a photo of my plant the button at the bottom. Oop. That's the plant. It's a wild plant. I didn't plant it. It just grows wild. So there's a picture. If I don't like it, I can press the trash can and take another picture. Press check. For some plants, it's important to see the bottom of the leaves as well as the top. You want a picture of the flower. You want a picture of the leaves. You want a picture of the fruit if you can. So I'll try to try to see if I can get to the bottom of this guy and get a picture of the bottom of the leaves as well. And once I've got uh, the pictures I want, I can make notes on the name of the plant. This particular plant is uh, known as, uh, you can see that here. I happen to have this plant here. Under Peperomia pellucida, Secau and Lung, it's known as. Uh, or Secau and Lung. So I'm going to put down the uh, Pompeian name. Secau and Lung. Its use, it has uses as a local medicine, but I don't know the specifics of how to use this particular plant. The name, this one I happen to know. If you don't know the name, just type plants. Plants is a fine name. That'll that'll reduce back the plant tape. Don't just leave it blank. It'll go in as an unknown. Type plants if you don't know what it is. But if you know what it is, you can go ahead and start typing that in. And if you happen to be on uh, uh, Wi-Fi, it will make some suggestions down here about what it might be, like this genus Peperomia. In fact, I know it's Peperomia, 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 Pel Lucida, Pepper Elter. I know that, so I'll press check. Gotta move that. And so the name is entered. That'll only happen if you're on Wi Fi. If you're not on Wi Fi, You'll just have to either type in the name if you know it. You probably won't know the name. So you just put plants and it will come back to that. And we can work on identifying it together. It's a wild plant. So I simply say check and I enter that. Now if I'm taking a picture of a plant that's a planted plant, a cultivated plant, then I want to mark that it's cultivated. So I'll go ahead and take a photo of a plant that's been planted. I'll get a nice picture of the flower and the leaves on this particular plant. Press to check. 
get a picture of the bottom of the leaves and the flowers. Sometimes the bottom of the leaves are important, especially in the antennas. Press check. And this one is an Ixora, but I, even I'm not certain of the species. So I'll put in Ixora, genus Ixora, because I don't know the species. So I'll select that. Uh, but this plant is a planted plant. So down here I'm going to put captive or cultivated. Make sure you check that box if it's a planted plant. This was planted. This was a planted plant. It is not a wild plant. It was put here. It's a garden plant. So whenever you've got a plant somebody intentionally planted or is taken care of, mark it as captive and cultivated. And again, press check. And those will then synchronize the next time you get back to... Um, back to a Wi-Fi and so we've got those we'll start to upload there uh, this one can come out if you want to delete one you just long click it and then you can press the trash can and you can then delete that observation this one uh, too I can delete that observation from the system that was an earlier observation and then these will upload uh, if I'm not on Wi-Fi when I make the observation that's okay They'll upload the next time you go back to Wi-Fi. And that's really all you have to do to get observations uh, into iNaturalist. Again, mark it as plants if you don't know what it is. Other people will take a look at it and start trying to sort out what that plant might be. And as the term goes on, you'll get a better idea of what plants you are working with and what your plants might be. And so this one is finished uploading the Peperomia. It's now uploading the Ixora. Uh, so, you, whatever you're looking at, make sure you mark your cultivated plants as cultivated. If somebody planted it, it's a cultivated plant. If you have questions, let me know.